So the second um, free response question from Unit 7 has an actual situation going with it. And we have a large vat is initially filled with a saltwater solution. The solution with a higher concentration of salt flows into the vat and um, the solution flows out of the vat at the same rate. The number of pounds of salt in the vat at time t is modeled by the function a that satisfies the differential equation d of a or dA over dt equals 6 minus 0 0.02 a. At time t minutes, the vat contains 50 pounds of salt. Okay, so we're going to do a tangent line. So we're going to write an equation of the tangent line of the graph of a at t equals 10. And then we're going to use the tangent line to approximate the number of pounds of salt in the vat at t equals 12. Okay, so I have no doubt there is going to be a tangent line question on your test. If they don't put one on there, it would shock me. So to get our slope, if we're given a differential equation, we use that differential equation. Um... Let's see, our point at 10, oh, okay, it's given to you in the problem, is 50. There's 50 pounds of salt at 10 minutes. So I will take our differential equation and um, A is the 50, the amount of salt. So I will put that in and I'm going to get a slope of 5. Alright, so I would use my point and my slope. Now, I think it's important here that you use T as you do not use X. Alright, and so I am approximating 12. So it's going to be 5 times 12 minus 10 plus 50. A of 12 is approximately 60. 60 pounds of salt. Okay. Then for B, we're going to show that A of T equals all that mess satisfies the differential equation for the initial condition a of 10 equals 50. This was tough. Um, part of it isn't tough. Like the initial condition is not hard. You just plug it in the calculator. Oops, I'm getting my decimal in the right place. supposed to do so we're good on that one but we need to um, be able to take the derivative of this and show that it is equal to that and we can I mean that's not crazy hard uh, it just gets kind of weird at the end um, but anyway here we go so dA over dt is going to be the derivative of this so the derivative of 300 goes away. The derivative of this, we are going to have to do the chain rule. So we start off and we still have the negative 250e to the 0.2 minus 0.02t. But then I have to multiply that by the derivative of the exponent. So the derivative of 0.2 is 0. And the derivative of negative 0.02t is negative 0.02. Alright, and then I would just multiply that together. So I'm multiplying negative 250 times negative 0 0.02. That's going to give you 5e to the 0.2 minus 0 0.02t. Now, that definitely doesn't look exactly like that one. So it's okay. 
we need to end up, um, to sh we just need to show that they are the same. So what I'm going to do in the place of D of A, or DA over DT, I'm going to put in what that equals. So 6 minus 0 0.02A. That's the same as 6 minus 0 0.02 and then take what A was. So A is that 300 minus 250, that stuff. distribute that negative point two all right and then six minus six is zero so it shows that these two things are equal <laughs> that was kind of crazy but it ended up working. All right, so let's look at this last one. The flow of solution into the vat stopped and the solution is drained. The depth of the solution in the vat is modeled by the function H that satisfies a different differential equation. DH dt equals negative K times the square root of H where H of T is measured in meters, and T is the number of minutes since the draining began, and K is a constant. Um, if the depth of the solution is 6 meters, 16 meters at time 0 minutes, and 4 meters at time 30 minutes, what is H of T in terms of T? Okay, so this is a an amped up differential equation to solve, but we can do it. So let's start off with dh over dt equals negative k times the square root of h. And we are gonna solve this differential equation. We have multiple conditions to type in, or to put in to get our answer, but we're gonna start off by separating the variables. By dividing by the square root of h and multiplying by dt. And this is what I was talking about on the last one, where if this denominator has an, a power, we don't do natural log. So this is the same as h to the one half. So I would move it up to the numerator, make it h to the negative one half. And then I would integrate. So I'm going to add one to the exponent and that's gonna be one half and then divide by that and that's just gonna be two. All right, and then here I would just basically multiply by a t. So the integral or antiderivative of negative k with respect to t is gonna be negative t or negative kt. Don't forget your plus c. All right, so now we're ready to use the initial condition. So our initial condition is this right here. The depth is 16 at time t, so we're gonna put zero in for t and 16 in for h. So 2 times basically the square root of 16 is going to be 8. So it's because it's 2 times 4. So C is 8. So go back to exactly where we were when I wrote to use the initial condition and put 8 in. Now 
there's another thing we need. We need to figure out K. So we're going to use the other condition. Our other condition is that at 30 minutes, the depth is 4, and our time is in minutes, right? Yes. So, I can go ahead and do that. Okay, so it's going to be 2 times 2, which is 4. and subtract the 8 and divide by the negative 30. So k is 4 thirtieths or if you wanted to reduce it to 15 Okay, so now I'm going to go back to where I drew that arrow and put that in 4k. So, to solve for h, I would divide 3 by 2, so 2 fifteenths divided by 2 is 1 fifteenth. Alright, and then to get rid of a square root, I'm going to square. And don't forget that 